All right, guys, in this episode, we are going to unlock the Occultist 4, and I think this is going to be my second to last episode with Ashley, who is a reverse scammer. She is the opposite of a scammer. Instead of doing what a guy did to me so long ago, uh, where he said, you know, hey, Fours, I'm quitting Frostborn, and I want to give you all my stuff. Um, and then he took my stuff. That was the scammer. She said, Hey, Forza, I'm quitting and I want to give you all my stuff. Literally the exact same line. And I trusted her and she's given me about like three level four classes. And my inventory is so full that I am now the envy of even my more advanced friends. They're like, share some of your <laughs> loot with us. <laughs> And I'm like, um, yeah, here's a, you know, throwing hammer or two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I need to be generous like Ashley. Ashley is teaching me to be generous. But I'm going to get a cultist in this episode. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones, in my frost bones. I'm so close. I think I'm gonna get it this round. Oh, it's gonna be close. I am gonna, I'm already, oh wait. Come on. Bonus, did it. All right, got it. Wait, what is the requirements? Why don't I have it? Give me, give me what I, you owe me. Make armor potions? You have got to be kidding me. All right, guys. We're doing this. <laughs> Making armor potions, which is dumb. Uh, it's a waste of sealing wax. So if y'all hear uh, the printer in the background, this is uh, also my wife and I's office. <laughs> Babe, stop trying to do real work and let me play my video games. <laughs> Your video games make more money than my real work. <laughs> <laughs> She said, my, your video games make more money than my real work. <laughs> Which is pretty hilarious. It's not 100% true, but like these video, if you guys have not heard me talk about sponsorships, these videos, I, I make like two bucks uh, from each video I do. Which is still amazing that I get paid to play video games. It's awesome. But... If I get like a sponsored video, you see one of these videos and it's a sponsored video, um, it's it's insane. All right, well, I need to wait one minute and 40 seconds to become a cultist. Ashley, in one minute and 40 and 32 seconds, what is the most interesting thing you can say right now? Um, I don't know. Yeah, uh, I, I totally put you on the spot there. It was unfair. I think I think you will like occultists and the power that they have right now. I think you're gonna love going out in PvP and just popping people left and right. Really? Yeah. I didn't think like I would. When, whenever I got people killing me, I go back to cultists. That that just ends it. Like there's no fight in it. When you get those stacks on someone, and if their teammates are around them, oh, uh -huh. God help them. Wow. Okay, well, if their teammates are around them, I'm going to get smashed by being outnumbered, though. No, not necessarily. If you use your ghost form, you uh -huh. pop that ghost form with the teammates around them, and you get those stacks. When you explode the main person you're attacking, and they either instantly die or they go down, their teammates also get the damage, and then they freak out and they run. So you, it actually, if you throw that ghost form out there, it gives you a fighting chance. Wow. Why do You're I get me excited. Why do I hear monsters? Are you fighting monsters right now? No. Oh, it's me. I'm fighting the monster. <laughs> like, why do I hear a monster, like, eating something? What is that? What is it doing? Six seconds until I have become the occultist. 
There we go, guys. Look at that glow. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try this out. Oh no! It's another occultist, I think. I don't want to go occultist versus occultist. I'm too young to die. I have better gear than him, but I have no experience. I'm out. I can't do it. Why was everyone Thrasher and then as soon as I get beaten by an occultist as the Thrasher, I'm running into all occultists now. You know what? That guy that was chasing me, as soon as he hit Berserk Potion, I should have... Oh, but then he had, if he had Ghost Form. That's the problem, is I just don't understand this class well enough to go at it against someone else. Yet. I'll get there. Just, just give it time. You'll get your footing with it. See what you gotta do. Just take some adjustment, especially if you're used to running like protector and thrasher. And like, just totally. take a little adjustment to, to shift. Where are these people? All right, guys. Well, for the sake of entertainment, I'm gonna go back and fight that other cultist. Oh boy. <sighs> I have better gear than him. I should beat him. But I have, I am not good at this. This is the first time I've ever played a Cultist 4, obviously. Just unlocked it in front of you guys. So, we'll see how it goes. Well, guys, my camera just died on me. No, no. I'm going to restart that. But it, uh, it does this when the room starts getting too hot. And I'm nervous about losing my legendary gear. If the guy comes back soon, I'll do it. But I'm I'm also afraid that if I wait, he comes, the camera goes out right when we're in the middle of the fight, it'll ruin everything. So we'll try a little bit longer. But we did get the occultist, and I'm I'm nervous about fighting this guy because I know he's a cultist too, and I was kind of hoping to not have to fight someone who was the same class as me. Oh. No! What the heck? It was Mommy Mitsuri. But here's the thing. That stun should not have stunned me. I was definitely still... No, it should have stunned me. That, I hate the bandit right now. Oh yeah, a lot of people are running. The bandit is really clever. Alright, well I'm gonna go. That was good. It was a good fight. It wasn't the person I wanted to fight. And I fought him as the bandit before. Here's the thing. I really screwed up just then by... Well, again, you have to know who you're fighting, right? If I was a little bit better, I would have known, hey, I'm fighting uh, Mami Mitsuri. He might be going bandit. I've played him as a bandit a few times. He was in the gear with the dagger. And so when I did my berserk potion, I literally thought, if I throw this Berserk Potion, he knows that my Dispel's on cooldown. And I thought I was far enough a range from him, but he was I was just barely in range of his spell. You hear me, Berserk Pot, question mark? I want to know if he heard it. I did not, but I saw a glimpse of the Rage Pot on top of your head. Oh, okay, so he didn't hear it, but he saw it. Can I use the cloak to get out of a stun, question mark? Oh my gosh. The cloak is a Dispel as well? Really? Holy crap, period. Well, at least you're teaching me something from this fight. <laughs> well, man, if I had used that to get out of the fight, then he would have been able to do a lot less damage to me. I would have gone at him, and then my dispel probably would have come out of cooldown by the time I needed it again. All right, guys, well, I traded a Thor's axe for uh, my Thor's flask back because I need... 
I need that Thor's flask if I'm going to get good at the occultist. I'm embarrassed that I didn't even try to use the ghost form. I kind of freaked out, which is what I usually do when I play a new class. And so, uh, but I got the Thor's flask back and I'm repairing it. And in episode soon, I will hopefully, you know, you just got to play a lot of PvP to get good at it. And I've never actually tried to get that good at solo PvP. So we'll see how it goes. All right, guys. See you next time.